I think one of the strangest things that we hold every day is having the ability to think. Not necessarily to put into place, but to put into our bodies. We think. For instance, I'm looking through this, this studio window at this beautiful forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. These trees were once seedlings. And every day that I see these trees, I'm allowed to think. It's almost like they're the ones that are planting the seeds saying, okay, here's where I want you to go in thought today. Because through you, your energy, your outburst of whatever you're going to do, we're going to spread it through these limbs, through these leaves, through these pine needles. It's a collaboration, this forest and I, which is then connected to the sun, the rain, the earth. Kind of weird, huh? But, but that's who I am as a spiritualist, is, is that everything has its own source of energy, but we're so giving with that energy that we share it so that other things can grow. Pretty weird, huh? <laughs> hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer, and, and I take those thoughts, the thoughts that are growing way out here to my left or to my right, and somehow they enter me, and it's like, whoop, now it's on a sheet of paper, and you're going, I, I don't blame me. I, all I was doing was holding a writing instrument, a nib that had ink on it, and oh my God, here it is. <laughs> That's what I like about daily writing, is that if you don't put thought into it, thought in the way of overthinking or being a procrastinator or a perfectionist, what happens is amazing things will grow through your writing. This is The Daily Mess. Scanning my skull this morning for the subject to speak openly about. When you are a daily writer, the gift is the long line of ideas that want to land on this page. I've never been without thought, which can be a huge problem. I wake up at two o'clock in the morning with thought. Oh, it's thought. It's heavy thought. It wants to be heard thought. Oh, it's thought. It wants to be musical. It wants to just sit there and just, you know, shadow everything that, that is trying to be positive. It's going, no, don't do it. I'm a Debbie Downer thought. Oh, it's thought. It wants to be heard. It wants to be brought to the light of life. And sadly, if awake at such a time, no matter what I think or dream, by the time I reach this page, that thought is gone. Poof. That fast. Strong enough to wake me up, but never enough strength to make it to the page. But my discipline, you know, is, isn't to wake up in the middle of the night. I can't. I can't. It's, it's not to plant seeds at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I've played that game before, and it was evil to my heart. Because a creative mind can't play late at night. There's way too much expectation in daylight. But I do wonder if the personalities are different. Like we were just talking about with, with, with writing, handwriting. I, I, I see to my right the, the, the show prep for today's interviews. I see to my left what I was writing this morning. And there are two completely different forms of writing. They are not the same hand. So the personalities, the one that wakes me up at two o'clock in the morning, is it different from where we stand right now? Will it be different from who I'll be at four o'clock this afternoon? Who we are right now, what is it? How is it? Will it become? Do you ever question where you are in this moment of now? And if not, why? Why not get to know the several shades of gray that you are? Why not understand the personalities that you grow into or shy away from? Because each is a part of you. Each is going to be you. Each will become you. It's who you are. Words on a page to me, that's air. And I come here to breathe. How are you breathing? Where is your source of energy coming from? How do you trust it versus how do you walk away from it? Are you like thoughts where all of a sudden something comes and then before you can reach a place where you can release it, it's gone. Why? Is it a trust factor? Is it a personality change? Learning to grip who you are, why you are, and who you become that's part of the adventure of life because none of us are the same. None of us will ever be the same. We might be inspired by, we might be influenced by, 
But how you bring it to life is through your source. And that's what's fascinating to watch. It's so incredible to see a part of you inside someone else, which is collaborated with another inspiration in them, another one and another one and another one and another one, like this forest. It's, we're energy sources, but we're not one and the same, but we share the same fuel. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.